Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys, I'm Fira Safira from English Education Department And I'm from J class of English course So today I would like to tell you about Bandung So Bandung has a lot of speciality and uniqueness And I will tell you about uh, the history of Bandung Bandung is the capital city of West Java I guess you know it And then Bandung became a city for Asia Africa conference in 1955 and the reason why the president the first president Mr. Sukarno chose Bandung because uh, he wanted to emphasize to the world that Bandung was the beginning of the independence movement to fight against colonialism and imperialism and Um, uh, you know that Bandung has three nicknames the city of flower, Paris Van Java and uh, Bandung the ocean of fire and from the, t- the three nicknames uh, uh, there are a reason and the history why um, Bandung is called like that Uh, first, the city of flower. In when the when Bandung was in colonialism, uh, Bandung was famous because of the girl and the woman that is that are um beautiful. That's why uh, Bandung called the city of flower because. <laughs> And then the second, Paris Van Java. Um, the colonialists say that Bandung has the same atmosphere with the Paris. That's why they called Paris Van Java, Paris in Java. And then uh, Bandung, the ocean of fire. Bandung, the ocean of fire. There, there, uh, there was a, a tragedy. Uh, when the colonialists want to take the seat, uh, apa, the Bandung <laughs> for their self and Bandung's people, Bandung society uh, angry about it and they said to the colonialists if you want to take the city I will burn it so in the night of March 23 in 1946 all of Bandung people um, burn their home their house their building and they burn the city and I will tell you about um, the culture in Bandung so um, Bandung's people usually use um, Indonesian language and Sundanese language then they sometimes mix it they mix they mix the Sundanese language and Indonesian language <laughs> so it's really interesting and then um, Bandung has traditional dance called Jaipong uh, it is famous in national and international and then Bandung also has traditional music instrument instrument made from bamboo uh, such as angklung, kecapi, suling and others and uh, Bandung also has traditional food oh uh, you know that Bandung Uh, is famous because of the foods so um, some people say that Bandung is the culinary city why? because uh, we can find a lot of foods in here especially um, Bandung traditional food such as surabi, batagor, cendol, and colenak and others Uh, and I will tell you about the place in, places in Bandung 
you know that why um, everybody moved to the Ban- moved to Bandung beside of uh, there are a lot of job opportunities uh, there are also um, a cozy uh, a good atmosphere in here you know that it's cold and it's so cozy Bandung has um, a cozy atmosphere <laughs> that's why people come to the Bandung <laughs> maybe okay so I will tell you that if you if you go to Bandung you can go to some to place depend on your mood for example if you want to take an adventure you can go to Lembang you can you can hiking trekking and others or if you want just uh, walk you can go to but if you want to walk and um, see the nature you can go to Dago Pakar and you know that there are a caves in there uh, a caves from the colonialism uh, it, there are there are Japanese caves and um, Holland caves and <laughs> uh, it is very very beautiful view in there you can see a beautiful view in there and if you just want to chill with your friends you can go to Dago Pakar eh, no, yeah, you can go to Dago Pakar also you can go to Dago because there are a lot of cafe and restaurant in there with the beautiful view and if you want to spend your money you can shopping uh, you know that Bandung uh, is famous because of its fashion yes um, from the cheap price until the expen- expensive price you can find in Bandung so don't worry <laughs> and then if you want just take walk in Bandung you can walk uh, even if even you only even if you don't have uh, money you can walk and you can see the beautiful view of the city in Braga and Asia Africa Street so you can go there but if you want to play with your friends you don't have to go to Dufan it's so far away <laughs> you can go to Trans Studio Bandung you know that um there there are only um, two or three trans studio in Indonesia and one of them in Bandung and it's the amazing place for you to play with your friends or with your family so (laughs) uh, that's why I love Bandung because I can go anywhere I can do anything in here without um, go to another city so if you if you um, want to visit Bandung it's a good idea because Bandung is beautiful and <laughs> you will like Bandung so that's all from me thanks for attention bye see you in Bandung